Hi, uh, I'm Avas. I'm a senior cloud engineer here at BlackBerry QNX, and today we're going to be going through um, QNX in the cloud. Essentially, what we have is um, the QNX uh, OS that we currently have and what we're all familiar with in our devices, in our vehicles. Um, we have the exact same image only available in the cloud, and um, we're calling it QNX Accelerate. So essentially, it's the virtualization of a QNX instance that you'll see. Um, it gives us the benefit of not worrying about hardware. So whereas if you are a developer and you need to uh, perform uh, testing, uh, you don't have to worry about um, obtaining certain um, architectures uh, of boards and worrying about cores and RAM. Whereas on the cloud, you can just uh, simply select it and it's all dynamic and you don't have to uh, worry about shipping hardware to developers if you've got developers around the world. Um, so here we, uh, so the demo here shows how we utilize the uh, virtual machine um, and also uh, a local instance of, Rasp uh, of QNX loaded on this Raspberry Pi. Um, and this shows us how we can benefit and utilize the cloud infrastructure to communicate with the, the devices. So you can see here on the right, we're actually connected to the Graviton instance in AWS. So that's the uh, virtual machine. Um, the reason we're showing this is so you can actually see the uh, usage and actually operating, performing the task that we send it to. But also as a developer who will be using Momentix as a tool, as an IDE, um, there's no difference in, in what they see as a uh, device, um, it, whether it be virtual or physical. So on here, we're going to connect to the uh, AMI instance, so the virtual machine. So when we connect, all we're doing is uh, hosting a connect, making a connection to the cloud environment, letting them know who we are and what device we want to interact with. Uh, down here, these are some pre-select um, jobs, uh, but, but the point of this is that we can expand them and they can be anything we want it to be, any commands we want. Uh, it's just some presets for the demo. Um, Pre-populated as well. Uh, just change this to so it runs quicker. Ooh. Yeah, so uh, on here, we can, um, these are parameters for the job. We can add more to them. We can um, change the values of them or whatever we want. Um, and then we can send the job to the cloud. So this is actually sending the require payload to the cloud. The cloud is forwarding that to the QNX instance. The QNX will do its processing and then respond back to the cloud and then inevitably back to the user. So which it has. So here we can download the results file. Just open that. And, yeah, and that's the result from uh, the AMI instance. And we can do exactly the same with the Raspberry Pi that we've got down here, which is also running QNX. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to connect to it, uh, send the same job, same parameters. So that's doing the same thing. It's sending it to the cloud. The cloud is then forwarding that to the device. And then the device responds. And we can download that and see the results for that too. So we can see they're quite similar. In terms of performance, obviously, there's a bit of a difference since the, the hardware on the virtual machine is a bit, a bit better, a bit faster. But um, essentially, the behavior is the same. So that just shows that the QNX in the cloud is no different to QNX in, say, a vehicle. But we can uh, build on this platform and send many commands to the devices without having to maybe SSH into it, needing a specific IDE like Momentix to configure and run commands. And, and also worrying about how we extract data from the QNX instance. Whereas here, it's all self-managed. You just tell it what you want, and it will respond with the result.